Fight fans, what's going on? Uh, if you saw the card on Showtime last night, the three uh, fights, the two junior middleweight fights and the uh, super uh, middleweight fight, uh, you uh, saw what happened. Three, it was a long night, three cards, three fights that went uh, the distance. Uh, I did not watch it last night. Uh, here on Eastern Time, that card... At uh, it was scheduled to end at about twelve thirty ish, but it ended probably about one o'clock, and uh, I wasn't staying up that late to uh check it out. So, uh, I decided to uh, get up today and uh, watch all three fights, and then uh, go from there. So let's start with uh Julian Williams and Nathaniel uh, Gillimore. Uh, I I never heard of uh Nathaniel Gillimore. Uh, and uh, of course, I picked J Rock to uh, win that fight by unanimous decision, uh, which I thought he did. Uh, it ended up being a, uh, if, uh, if I remember, a majority decision, but uh, I thought that he did enough to win on all three uh, scorecards. Uh, the uh, young kid, the Gillimore kid, was uh, he wasn't a bad fighter. Uh, he has uh, some skills going with him. I, if I remember, I want to say that the uh, announcers said that uh, he just started boxing at either 19 or 20 or so, somewhere around there that was late to get in the game. And he didn't turn pro into 2014, uh, which is another reason why I thought that J-Rock would uh, – definitely uh you know uh you know put up a better uh performance and it wasn't a bad performance i just think that uh the young man gillimore was not as uh he was better than expected um he uh looked like he was giving uh, uh william some problems by staying close by um uh uh giving him kind of different angles uh, but uh, I thought that J-Rock, uh, I thought he looked pretty good. I didn't think he looked uh, too rusty. I think they were kind of alluding to that. He's fought quite a bit since that uh, uh, that since that since Jamal Charlo fight. And uh, he has, uh, you know, done a good job of keeping himself busy. Now, uh, I don't know what would be a good fight actually for him from there. I haven't really uh, thought about that. I was just kind of enjoying uh, the fight and enjoying the moment of everything that was going on. But uh, we I hope he stays busy and gets back in in a, uh, a few, uh, you know, a couple of months. OK, now the next fight was um, was the super middleweight rematch between Caleb Truax and James DeGale. Uh, I uh, I picked DeGale in the first fight and then I picked him again in this fight uh and it was a a brutal close hard fight it was full of headbutts which i didn't think that any of them were intentional uh but that happens when you have the, the you know a soft a softball and a, a conventional fighter going uh 114 113 i thought sound about right uh i'm sorry wrong cards y'all sorry uh i'm thinking about the main event uh, I thought that it was more of a 115-113 uh, decision for DeGale. One card had in 117-110. I didn't agree with that, but I did think that DeGale uh, won the fight. And uh, my only thought on that is, is let's see the fight a third time. I thought that uh, the first fight was okay. This one was was better. Uh, but let's see it again. Let them heal up. And because I don't know who else these two guys fight. Let's just see them fight each other. Maybe later in the year when those wounds heal up. Now, let me quickly touch on the main event. Here's Lonnie Lara against Jared Hurd. Uh, this fight I, I picked wrong. I picked Lara. I thought that Lara would do more moving. I thought he would be more slick and that he would wear down the much bigger herd. And uh, this fight actually ended up being a good fight. Now, a lot of people don't like Izzy Lani Lara. They don't think that he uh, is a crowd-pleasing fight, but that was actually a good fight. Good enough that I think later tonight I may watch that fight again. Uh, he did stand in the pocket a lot more. He went against the ropes a lot more. Uh, now, that could be due to the fact of age, that uh, his legs are just not moving the way that they used to but uh either way it goes uh he got some good shots in on, on her her got some good shots in on him it was a lot of uh back and forth action especially rounds uh nine and ten if i remember right uh and i uh I'm not going to argue about the decision. I know the guy I picked didn't win, but 1-14, one, uh, 1-13 was about right. It was a very, very razor-close fight, 
And uh, it's a fight that they could do again. But honestly, I want to see uh, Jared Hurd go right for uh, uh, Jermail Charlo. That's the fight that I want to see. Uh, Jamel Charlo was interviewed after that, and uh, he said that's the fight that uh, he would want. Uh, and that's what I would like to see. Now, Jared Hurd, I'm going to give him some credit. I've been real hard on him uh, for years, and uh, but he showed a lot of heart. He showed a lot of... Uh, uh, you know, coming forward, you know, he you know, kind of tried to walk down a smaller man, which I like. He was doing beautiful body work. And I'm going to give Swift Heard credit because I usually don't give him a lot of credit. He's actually developing in, into a uh, much better fighter. Uh, now, the last thing I want to touch on is uh, Floyd Mayweather. If you saw the Showtime broadcast, Floyd Mayweather was there. He had on a nice red hat. I wasn't feeling that uh, black and uh white spotted blazer he had on but he had on a really good uh i like the i did like the hat you know but he said something interesting he said that he uh may fight again but it would only be in the octagon uh that he's definitely done boxing i don't know about you all but i think that's a a, a bad decision i don't see him beating anybody in a mixed martial arts fight and I think, honestly, he's only going to do it if he and uh, somebody like Conor McGregor could uh, rob people of another, you know, 60, 70, 100 million dollar fight. And it'll just be easy money. He'll get beat and he'll cash another check. Uh, he's definitely not going to box again because at 41, Florida's not going to take a chance on losing that. 50 and old mark uh i don't know you guys tell me what you think about it uh i of course i would watch it if it happened but i think this is going to end up bad for floyd if he does all right fight fans that's all i got three cards uh three uh decisions and uh we'll see you all uh, next week that's all i got catch y'all later